lunch time. Uh, we are back again, the Big R Solution a Sports Program, uh, with me, the Sobri Boys, Walifatsi, together with Ntwentle, Jacob Silamatzila. Hey, Jackie, <clears throat> football is so interesting. It, it's so nice. Um, we are heading towards the end. But, you know, these days, man, even if you are heading towards the end of the, the, the league, but the, 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 the way football, there is a lot of information around football. Um, yes. You, you'll continue to have a lot of things. Now, let's look at the league. Sundowns, they're the champions. Congratulations to my lady Sundowns. <laughs> oh, yes. For the 11th time this time. You know, Professor Matebula uh, did a very nice thing. And then I did send to the group. Say the difference between Chiefs and Pirates, Chiefs and Sundowns, it's um, Edwan. Edwan, right? yeah. And then he said, Edwan, he says, uh, Sundowns, it's at number one. Kaiser Chiefs, Edwan, it's at one, one, one and one. Edwin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, that, that was really, really funny and hilarious. Jackie, Sundowns, that are the champions. Let's look at number two. Do you think Amazon will end up being number two? They need only one game. It's done. Yes. It's done. That's correct, yes. Yeah, because, but Pirates, if they can win their three games, all right, which is nine points. No, no, no. Pirates, if they win their three games, nine points, how much is it? No, Pirates can be the, the league champions. Sundowns have to win their two remaining. I mean, Amazon, they have to win their two remaining games. Yes. Because if they win two games, that's 56. And if Pirates win uh, the last three games, Pirates will have That's 55. So yes. number two is still not yet decided. The persons yes. who might not have a chance to get that number two, it's Golden Arrows. Yes. Golden Arrows. But where is interesting, where we need to look very close, is top eight. Top eight. Exactly, uh, yes. Yeah, because we have Barroca, all right, two games, six points. TS Galaxy, they, need, they have three games. It's nine point. Bloemfontein Celtics, two games. Let give us Kaiser Chiefs because Kaiser Chiefs they can still qualify. Give us Kaiser Chiefs. Yes, Kaiser Chiefs they got uh, they got uh, thirty right now. They're left with two, yeah. which is equal to six points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so can, if they win those, it can take them right into into the top eight. Yeah, if they win the remaining two games, and then. Uh, if they win the remaining two games, and it happens that uh, Barroca and TS Galaxy they don't win, and remember one of the game very interesting, TS yes. Galaxy versus Kaiser Chiefs. That's the, the last, last game, game. Yes, the last game. It's going to yes. be very interesting. We are looking forward. <laughs> so those are the things. Let's give you the fixture quickly, and then uh, as uh, as um, as as uh, the fixture. Uh, do you have them, or should I give it to you? Yeah, I can give us the okay, fixtures if you have. I've got, I've got a few here with me. Okay. Right, we've got uh, just one second. Today, this afternoon. Uh, okay, this afternoon, while you're still doing that, let me move faster. We have Morocco Silos at 5 o'clock against Mamelodi Sundowns, all right? And then I want us to talk about that because um, we have already established a very good relationship with Tabo Matlala. We had a very, very nice interview. I enjoyed that interview. The young man is so humble. And, I, 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 you know, I really like him. Uh, he's so humble and he will go a long way. We'll talk about that a little bit later. And then the next game is TS Galaxy, which is uh, on Sunday, tomorrow. And then uh, against Orlando Pirates. So let's look at those two so far. Right, because those are the games over the week, uh, over the weekend. Then yes. Adam will talk about them later, uh, <clears throat> uh, because uh, they are coming on Wednesday and they're coming. 
Now, uh, while we are still there, I wonder whether you watch my interview with Tabo Matlala. Matlaba, yes. You watched it. Uh, yes. You know, Tabo Matlaba is a very good player. You know, when I watched him, the first time I saw him when he was playing for Pirates, even now, he's still good. Eh? And I still say, uh, Pirates, you know what? I think they have lost. You know, for him to leave at Pirates, it's a loss because the boy is still good. He reminds me, I don't know whether I still remember Mario Varas. Yes, I remember him. Yeah, you know, he remember he reminds from Brazil. Me, yeah, he reminds me th those guys. He reminds me Oscar Jasmine Lamini, Harari Makubela, uh, the guys who were overlapping and very dangerous. And Iwi Kambule, still remember Iwi Kambule? Yes, yes. Iwi Kambule, and then uh, Ryder Mufuke for uh, for that matter, the late Ryder Mufuke. So he reminds me even uh, uh, Nick Sichuane. Nick Sikwane, remember? Nick? No, Nick Sikwane. Oh, Sikwane, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were the guys who were very dangerous in overlapping. And then I was also telling him that uh, he reminds me of Daniel Vest. I think that Daniel Vest is the best, best right back. And then it will take years. I mean, Daniel Vest has won 42 titles in his name. He's the only player who has won 42 titles. So far. So I don't know who's going to surpass that. Maybe Messi, because Daniel Vest may retire very soon. And maybe Ronaldo. Uh, those are the people who are very close. We don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll watch the space. So I don't know. How did you find the interview? Uh, I was very, very impressed with the, his attitude. Mm. And I liked the way he answered questions because. He, he gave you, he was, he was detailed in terms of uh, answering his questions. Like when he answered the issue of his, uh, his uh, niece who they fought and somebody created a story that uh, mm. he beat uh, her up and all those kind of things. Mm. And then they charged him with the GBH and uh, you know, those, you know he was so detailed. And then mm. I like the way he expressed himself mm. because he, he's so humble as well. Mm. You, you, mm. Even if you meet him outside, I don't mm. think you will be able to see that this is the Tabama, Taboma Taba that was playing for Orlando Pirates. Mm. And I must really also say mm. he's very knowledgeable in terms of football mm. and he has, he has so much experience. Mm. I mean, some of the teams that he played for, I didn't know that. Mm. I didn't know that the, the teams that he, he indicated that uh, he started with um, uh, uh, Free State Stars, mm. Mm. you see. And then the person who who, who recruited him, mm. that was in the test from Compella. Mm. You know, all those things we didn't know, but that interview, it gave us a lot. And mm. the, the, the most interesting part is when you said to him, uh, is he married? Is he having a family? He said, yes, I've got uh, three daughters. Or he said two or three daughters. Mm. And then he's got uh, a wife as well. Mm. And the wife is, uh, is he said, he, he used the word hustling. Mm, she's hustling mm, 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 mm. and then she's also transporting the kids to school mm. and then she's you know what she's making she's bringing that income into the house mm. and uh you know what it's it's, it's nice and mm. then i like the offer that you gave you as said to him with the uh, the big r will be able to train her on how to handle the, uh, the money yeah the, 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 <laughs> that's the most important thing you know the power exactly. is in, is in exactly, financial yes. knowledge you know and then exactly, Jackie, exactly. let's move quicker uh, the other thing that I wanted to mention in passing, I was very much interested to know whether Dr. Ivan Koza interferes with the selection of the squad. He said, no, <laughs> no, no. Yes, okay. yes. So, yes. and then uh, the real reason why he left Orlando Pirates, you know, there were a lot of rumors, Pirates fired him because he beat the girl. There's nothing like that. You know, newspapers sometimes, yes. they can yes. cut a speech in and make stories out of nothing. But I said big up to the young man. Uh, he, he held his head high. He then continued. Jackie, let's move on quickly. Now, uh, we know that tonight, a big one, Champions League. Mm. Uh, it's an English affair. <laughs> yes. It's an English affair. 
Yes. Uh, Chelsea, Man City. Who do you think? Where, where do you put your head? Let me not put my head, my brother. Instead of my head, let me put my money there. Put your I'm, money. I'm putting my money on, on Man City. <laughs> Are you I'm sure? putting my money on Man City. Are you it's sure? going to be hard, but I'm, I'm putting my money on, yes, Man City. Don't you think that Chelsea is hungry? Yes, Chelsea is hungry. I understand it. they are hungry. But you know what? They are, they, are, they are facing the champions here. They are going to face the champions. And uh, you, Man you, City has got a pedigree. They've got that BMT, big, big match temperament. So I definitely see them winning. Do you underestimate uh, Kalongo, uh, K- uh, Ngole Kante? Do you underestimate? No, I'm not underestimating him. Do you I un- know that he's a very good. Do you underestimate those young boys who are playing at Chelsea, like Mount and so on. Do you think those the boys? Very are- fo- the very same. The very same point that you just mentioned. Mm. Those young boys, mm. they are still inexperienced, mm. and the experience part of it is going to kill them. Mm. I see Man City winning 2-0. Man City winning 2-0. It's gonna Absolutely. be it's gonna be a humbling. But if you Absolutely. ask me, you know, Chelsea is very strong. Yes. And they have a very good coach. And then I could see that uh a Kante was being rested. I think they're preparing for the Champions League. And then I think they're hungrier than Man City. Uh, but if you ask me, I'm not saying my money is on City. My wish is for Pep to win the Champions League. You know yeah. why? Because um, a lot has been said that Pep, uh, he needed a team uh, of Messi's caliber to win the Champions League. Remember, Pep has been criticized that he didn't win the Champions League with Bayern Munich. He has been at um, at Man City for a while. He hasn't won the Champions League. And uh, I believe Pep is uh, is one of the greatest coach. So it would be nice to see Pep winning the league. But I'm not saying he's uh, winning the Champions League. I'm not saying he's going to win tomorrow. Because as far as I'm concerned, I think Chelsea will surprise them. But if you ask me, I wish Pep wins. But I'm saying Chelsea may surprise them. That's all I can say. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a very nice story yeah. tonight. Now, let's move on quickly. Uh, we know that um, uh, Lionel Messi has won the Pichichi uh, for the eighth time now. Fifth, uh, yeah, five, yeah. five in a row. Uh, he has broken another record, you know, you know with Messi. It's always breaking the record. And then I hear the PK said, you know, he said, you know, the president of uh, of Atletico Madrid is the mayor of Madrid City. So he said, yeah. uh, he said the mayor is having it wrong. If he thinks he's going to get Messi, uh, this is not Suarez. This is Messi. He's not going to. Yeah, yeah. You know, PK loves uh, Barcelona, I can tell you that. And then, you know, sometimes when they talk like they want to sell him, uh, you know, Piggy, I think he will agree to the reduction of salary. He's got a lot of money, Piggy. I don't think it will affect him. You know, people mm-hmm. like allowed him to stay there. PK, Messi, allowed them to stay at that team, you know, retire that team. And then uh, Pep has always has said many times, he, his wish is to see Messi finishing his career at, uh, um, at Barcelona. And there's a rumor that um, Laporta wants to get Pep Guardiola to replace Kuman. We don't know. After the championship, mm. we don't know what's going to happen. And Pep has never hidden his love for the team. He said, I love my team. He said, I'm happy that Aguero is going to the team of my life. You know, I love Barcelona. If I see Aguero going there, I'm the happy. Yeah, yeah. So we don't know. And I know that... Yes. Yeah, the, 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 the citizen have offered him a huge money, uh, you know, to, mm. in, in him extending his contract. Remember, he has just extended his contract. So we, yes. don't, we don't know what's going to happen. We'll watch the space. And then the other mm. news, Laporta has said um, he has not backed down as far as the Super League is concerned. 
and then yes. uh, he condemns the UEFA that uh, what they are trying to do is not correct. Then he said um, he hasn't have had an opinion. He's still waiting what you call the socio. You know, they have the membership. Their members have to decide whether they agree to go with uh, the Super League or mm. they abort the Super League. So he said he's waiting for that. I think very soon the socio will be voting. And then, but okay. I like his, his resilience to say, I'm not going to allow anyone to bulldoze me. Because if I analyze that situation, UEFA is a little bit unfair. Uh, yeah. The EPL, that's how it was formed, to be honest. And no one stopped them, all right? PSL here at home, that's how it was formed. No one stopped them. So why, why now? They, they, we don't know, because they want to boot out Real Madrid, Juventus, and Barcelona. I wonder what Champions League would look like without those three teams. We'll see. We'll watch this. Yeah, movie. yeah. We'll watch this. Movie. Yes. So those yes. are the news in uh, international. Let's talk about local. The big one. The big one. We are told that Gavin Hunt has been shown the door with immediate effect. Tell us, Jackie. Hey, my brother, I saw it coming, eh? I saw it coming and then I I had a statement by the president of Kaiser Chiefs uh, last night when he said uh, uh, this, this situation is making is making things to be difficult for him to take decisions and to make sure that his supporters of Kaiser Chiefs are back and happy within the Kaiser Chiefs family. Mm. So there will be decisions that are hard to take, but he will have to take those decisions because uh, the team comes first and the supporters comes first. And this is the first one. This is the first decision. Uh, the, 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 the contract of uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gavin Hunt, coach David Gavin Hunt, unfortunately was uh, terminated uh, with immediate effect today. Actually, they didn't use the word terminated. They said Kaiser Chiefs release Hunt from his contract with immediate effect. You see, you so know, he was released with immediate effect. You know what? Released with immediate... Yeah. You know what excites me there? Yeah. Finally, ten triple one, Arthur's one. That's my boy. Absolutely, uh, absolutely, um, absolutely. Well, I'm happy. I'll tell you why. I'm yeah. not saying it because I'm very close to Arthur. Yeah. I'm not saying that. You know what? It's high time that our local players and former players and the coaches are given the space they deserve. I'll give you yes. something. I'll show you something. We have Peter Musiman has done yes. well, a local uh, coach. We have, um, we have um, the three musketeers at uh, Mamelodi Sundowns. They're doing well. Yes. Okay. And then we have uh, the coach at Morocco Swilos. A local yes. coach is doing well. Uh, you've got uh, Benny McCarthy. You've yes, got Benny yes. McCarthy doing yes. extremely well. All right? Yes. You've got Golden Arrows, uh, a local yes. coach, yes. doing extremely well. You go to teams such as your TTM and what have you. All right? Yes. I'm not yes. saying I'm against foreign coaches. And uh, yes. some people told me, I don't watch MDC much. They said, Arthur Zwane is a very good coach. People were telling me that the team that is coaching at uh, MDC, that team is doing extremely well. So apparently yeah. that could be one of the reasons why he was robbed to the senior team. Yes. So yes. that's what excites me. All right. And then and I then, say it's high time that we take our own. Let's go to England. England, if you look at the English football, do you have any African coach there? No. Um, you go to Spain. Any African coach there? Definitely not. You go to Italy. African coach there? No. 
uh, I'm not trying to be whatever, but I'm saying let's give our African brothers an opportunity to showcase yes. their football knowledge. I'm not saying Europeans, but we are not given that opportunity in, the, in those spaces. So that's what excites me about this situation. I know that Ava is going to be there temporarily. I hope he, 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 he does well. The remaining two games, I hope he wins. And then uh, they give him a chance. I know he's together with Dylan Shepard. Maybe the trend has started. That's correct. That uh, yes. take the twins rather than having a solo. <laughs> uh, let's do the Messi yes. special now. And then uh, and say... Yeah. Before Messi special, there was something that I wanted to, to highlight right. quickly concerning the issue of uh, Mr. Gavin Hunt. Yeah. Uh, during his time in Kaiser Chiefs, he, when he was in charge of Kaiser Chiefs, mm. he played 44 official games mm. and then he won 12. He, he drawn 17 mm. and he lost 15 mm. in all competitions. Mm. So definitely that uh, track record is not good. Mm. But in the interim, as you mentioned, assistant coaches, which is Arthur Zwan and Dillard Shepard, mm. will, will take charge of the senior team. Mm. And the club said they will uh, announce further uh, announcement uh, maybe further uh, uh, decisions in at the later stage. So we don't know who's going to be taking over Kaiser Chiefs. And uh, others are saying Stuart Baxter. Others are saying the, the coach of this club, Simba. You know, you never know. Mm. This is football. Mm. Yeah, that's all about uh, uh, Coach Kevin Hunt. I'm just wishing him all the best. You know, football is, is so cruel. It can kill you, as but one coach has mentioned. But let me say this. Gavin Hunt is also a local coach. Yes. And uh, this tenor does not make Gavin Hunt a bad coach. Gavin Hunt is, is a good coach. Yes. He, he has done well with a Super Sport United. He has done well with Vets. So we cannot just say because of this, he's a bad coach. He's a good coach. Yes. And I is. know that Pito Musimane respect. Gavin Hunt so much, so yes. but, uh, unfortunately it could not happen, you know. And then uh, and remember, he's the first coach to take Kaiser Chiefs to to the to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Yeah. He's the first coach to do that. Yeah. yeah. So we'd like to say, uh, going forward, we wish him good luck, uh, Gavin Hunt. Jackie, shall we go to yes, the Messi special? Yes, please. Let's do it. Well, we won't do much today as far as the Messi special as we normally do. Um, I just want to share this a little bit. Uh, I hope you see this. Just much, uh, much, yeah. Yes, I can see it. Now look at these numbers. Messi, out of 26 games, he won 17 men of the match. Yeah. Out of, in other words, uh, out of 26, only how many games were the way he didn't win the man of the match? Nine games. Yeah. This is incredible. Absolutely. This is, this is incredible at his age. Now, when I keep on telling you, I say, this is the key. You don't want to believe me, Jackie. So <laughs> I'll keep on proving it. Uh, show <laughs> every show and say, this man is out of this world. That's Lionel Messi for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. Uh, Thank you, my brother. It was nice um, uh, having the show with you, my brother. Uh, let me see. always nice. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, okay, what's happening? I wanted to stop the sharing. It was, okay, it doesn't allow me. I don't know what's happening. Uh, let's do this. Let me stop the sharing. Right. Yeah, it was nice doing the show with you. 
Good luck, my brother. And then uh, Thank you very much. we are looking forward to analyze the show all the time. Please continue to subscribe. Good night. I mean, uh, thank you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, Makosi. Thank you, Mapagania. Thank you, Masandawan. Thank you, my leopards. Thank you, my everyone. Thank you. <laughs>